Oh, this is Deb. Yeah, I this, fucking this, hate Deb. I love Deb. Deb character. We we all, I I don't know. We 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 were always playing with the idea of if she would come back later in another episode, if we would ever see her, if we would never see her. Oh, we 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 thought about killing her in a terrible way, but just never ended up doing it. We really felt like doing it. Well, we thought that eventually it would lead to too much Deb and wouldn't move the, the story forward of, of these two individuals. Yeah. The show's really about them and their relationship, and I think it took us a little bit a little bit of time to realize that that was what was really at the heart of the show. And I think it's because these guys were able to make their relationship seem so you, so genuine that you, it was really easy to believe that it's and actually about it's them. It's crazy. You, I, I told, uh, I'm not going to say which one, but I said that you guys have the greatest chemistry. And he said, really? I said, you haven't, and it's, and it's on all fairness, it's because they haven't seen themselves. They, they haven't seen anything yet. They don't really know. I mean, I think that, you know, maybe they might feel it. I'm not sure. I'm not an actor. I see it when I'm watching them that, you know, uh, that Danny as a straight man and Drake as the clown have such great chemistry together uh, as just human beings. Like, they, I think they genuinely understand each other and... Uh, Drake is the character who wants to see Lance spread his wings a little bit, and Lance, the one who wants to stay safe, I think that they, they understand that. And I, I just, just seeing them play off of that dynamic uh, of them really understanding each other is, is, is wonderful to see. They're so talented. But this scene, I want to talk about the Deb scene in particular. Mm-hmm. Not, it's funny. It's funny conceptually to me, but, and I love it still, and I would never cut it, ever. You couldn't pay me to cut it. But it's not as funny as I originally imagined it was, because maybe I hadn't set it up right, but I, I like how we call back to it in episode seven, which you'll see eventually. Um, but I like how it, it's supposed to play into the idea that Drake can, he has sort of special powers in this world. He knows what she's going to say. Yeah, but I don't think we knew that that's where it was going. I think that as as it was written, the idea was that she always says this stuff. She always right. says some version of this same speech, and so he's able to mimic it okay. perfectly. Yeah. Later, as the series progresses, we realize that Ned has some sort of superpowers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we and uh, you know we had been inadvertently writing the fact that he's controlling everything, and it really comes to a head in later episodes. Well, not, not that he's controlling everything, but that he. It's sort of like he's aware of the universe that he lives in, and he has a modicum of control and interaction of it. He, he, can, he can start and stop music. He can talk to the audience. Yeah. He can perhaps change the outcomes a little bit, but he's not in control. He's like uh, Deadpool or She-Hulk. They're aware that they're in comic books. Um, I'll take your word for that. But um, you will. You will. I've never read She-Hulk. I don't know. They're aware that they're in a comic book and they can make comments on it, but they can't get out of it. That's amazing. They they know the universe that they are in and they they can accept it. Oh, it's like super sanity. My favorite joke, P.S. written by Mark Gonzalez. Would you prefer if I threw up or shot myself? Shit yourself. Or. <laughs> Oh, and Throw I like, up. my favorite part is that, that he, it, it's the exclusion that's the joke. Yeah. I'd rather you throw up. No, no, it's too late. I shat myself. Oh, <laughs> I just, I too that. late. <laughs> yeah, too late. It's great. And then the famous, super famous, ultra famous logo milkshake. 